missing lights on. Where is everyone? Something is wrong. Be ready for anything. Go in, Blaskowitz. I have your back. Yeah, okay. I was about to make a happy birthday joke. I thought it was too obvious, but no. All right, old codger. Congratulations, Blasco. Happy birthday, Terry Billy. <laughs> William, blow out your candles. Make a wish. Thanks. I want a horse. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it this long. <laughs> well, here's to brother Blaskowitz. Toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible. That's from I'm good banana green fire Next right there. Made. Next made! Next song! Here's some wicked love. <laughs> Lord, Lord, I was gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> so, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silverfish. Is that the name of the show? It's a very <laughs> Yes, Paul Quiggs. Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi. Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outskirts. Yes, Paul Quiggs. But please stop calling me a Nazi. I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit. Now it's on. Comrades! Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blast Quiz. Yeah! 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 starts with corn and on occasion we've done barley but I think well I like rye but he usually does corn and then we do Is still drunk and was supposed to be in the air by now. 
Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey. Come on. Oh. Damn it, Fergus. Why you always gotta be losing your arm? I know Blaskovich. I know not where this arm is you seek. I think I see it. Look, you want to take the easy way out? Do you not think I've been there too? To see my friends murdered in front of me. My family. My children. And how easy would it be to give in and crawl into the dark hole in my mind and stay there to life means nothing. Do you have any idea what I've had to do to keep myself from breaking? To pull myself up? To block the pictures out? And when I see you sad like this, I can't stand it. Because it reminds me of them. Because the pictures come back and makes me sad. And I can't go in that hole one more time. Because the next time, I won't come out. Do you understand? So smile, Max. For God's sake, smile. Max, oh, smile. Max, oh, smile. Max, smile. Max. Okay, Max. Okay. Maybe I can't make you happy, but it makes me sad to be around you. Makes us. Fergus, huh? Fergus, huh? I ain't seen him, bro. Sorry, Venus. Right? Chloe, Christ, That's cool. What about you? No? I haven't seen oh. Fergus's arm, Herr Blaskovich. I've been up all night decrypting the Odin codes. Maybe you should ask the new Fraulein. Professor, whatever they call her. She seems to always be putting her nose into everyone's business. I'm not one to pry. I couldn't help but notice Fergus's outburst. He was so mad at that arm. But where he left it, I sadly don't know. So his arm turned on him? Now listen to this, B. We managed to intercept a transmission detailing all of the construction material they shipped over to planet Venus. Get this. On the list is a fully functional battle walker. They gotta be using it for painting ceilings or some shit. I mean, who the fuck knows? Anyway, you should check out the brief on the war map. Good luck out there, B. Hmm. Didn't even know a man's arm could just up and go missing. Ain't the kind of thing I look out for. Fergus's arm, uh, Fergus's arm. N no, I can't say that I've seen it. Oh, Shim Shim. Uh, Paris Jack told me there was a problem with Fergus's arm. I, I had no chance to talk to Fergus about it yet. 
Is the arm gonna try to kill me or something? Hi there. It's a life and death situation. You got to help me, man. All right, then. I was doing inventory in the ammo depot when this gigantic asshole of a rat jumped straight at me like it got rabies or some shit. Biggest rat I ever seen in my life. Big as a dog. If I hadn't been so lucky that a box fell on top of it and trapped it, man, I, I'm not sure what would have happened. You gotta go to the ammo depot and kill it, man. Be careful not to get bit. I guarantee the motherfucker will give you tetanus or God knows what else. Uh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. say history is written by the victors. I guess we better fucking win then. <laughs> right you are. The old Scott lost his arm. Well, sorry, I can't be of much help, brother. Vegas's arm? On his body, I suppose. Hell, I don't know, brother. You good, Captain? I've seen the arm of Fergus, brother. I was too busy drinking. Woo. I heard you were looking for Fergus's arm. You should speak to Paris Jack. I saw him talking to Fergus last night. I think Paris is in the cantina. Sorry, buddy. I ain't seen Fergus's arm anywhere. You know, I could use this as an opportunity. Um. Let's try using this again, see what this is like. Actually, gonna get one. Got one. Do I need to do that again if I back out? No, it's unlocked. Good. I speak to you, please, Mr. Moscovich. Yeah. As writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you are out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for Max, Mr. Blaskovich. Uh-huh.